Well, now Luke's racing to five and Chuck's racing to seven with Luke breaking. Yeah, it's four to four now is the score from what I can see here. And it was 3-0 at the beginning of the match. So yes, it was. Really, yeah. Well, aside from all our technical difficulties, uh, everything else is going good uh, this evening. So we want to thank everybody for being here at the Great Southern Billiard Tour. Stop at Michael's Billiards. Alvin with Inside Pool here with uh, Chris Bossy in the booth from Cincinnati here. And uh, this is a match with Lucas Hawkins and Chuck Ralston. Oh, wow, he got fortunate again. Look at this, man. He, he can't do nothing wrong on that break. His cue ball went three rails under the rack, and he almost, I mean, he just headed straight towards that corner and got kicked out. This rack play is pretty simple, too. Getting on the five is really the key ball. Gets good on the five, it'd be easy to get on the seven. Just going to stop his cue ball, play the five in the corner, seven in the corner. Almost got hit there. Uh, he's, going to have to, he's going to have to shoot this and, and go a little bit to the left. I don't think he really wanted to do that. He didn't want this much angle on the five because he didn't want a big angle on the seven. I think he's going to go across table under the eight. He may end up playing the eight in the, uh, the side pocket. The seven's near from the single. Yep. Ooh, look at oh, this. Oh, good. He jumped up on it, too. Big mistake. Uh, these guys are feeling it. Yep. That's rough. He did. He stood right up. I don't look for uh, Chuck to make any more of those mistakes that we just saw. These guys have been through a lot this weekend, though, playing in, in two big events. And oh, yeah. And not having very much sleep in between the two of them. Then the power going out and losing a couple hours there of play. Yeah. I'm amazed this, this tournament is as far as long as it is right now. You were playing in there when the uh, Miner's Hat guy was around, and we were playing with the flashlight over the table, weren't you? <laughs> oh, that was my buddy Cupcake. Yeah. Uh, That's funny. He's the only person that had one of those. I think he... He put it on just so he could walk around and talk talk crap to everybody. <laughs> oh, the miner's hat guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, the only, he's like the only person in the building that you could actually tell who it was. <laughs> nice. But you were playing in there with the no, light over I, the I wasn't. That he wasn't was, you? He was. Oh, okay. Somebody yeah, had him, a, him and a few other people. Actually, a few people were playing a 20-a-game uh, bank in the dark. <laughs> a what? They were playing 20-a-game short rack bank in the dark. <laughs> nice. Actually, it's my buddy Rob Frost. <laughs> Bank's good in the dark, too. That's what happens when you're from Kentucky. You bank good anywhere. Yeah, we're sitting in the dark, and all of a sudden I hear pool balls slowly start getting hit around the room. I'm like, these guys are playing pool in the dark. This is ridiculous. Chuck, oh, come up real tough here. Of course, every time I say that, they shoot it straight in the pocket. Yep. Well, it's probably straight through that six. Yeah, it that's, is. That's just an optical illusion, folks. Right, there's no that, six ball. That two ball is straight in right now, <laughs> as we speak. I think you're going to see Chuck play safe here. One of the few safes you'll see played in this set, too. I like uh, I like thinning this two ball on the left-hand side and floating my cue ball down the bottom rail behind the nine because you got the nine, three, and eight as blockers. Not a pretty looking rack. No. I'll tell you. Even if he does play safe here too, Luke's gonna have a, a good jump shot. Look at this. That was a good shot. Playing <laughs> yeah, that was a sweet shot. Oh yeah, I was looking at that too. I just I didn't think about <laughs> Yeah, he just hit the ball a little bit more fuller and follow through with it. That was a good shot. Pretty much the same thing. Only instead of thinning his ball, he smacked it. Through. Yeah. Yeah. If Luke wants it, he's got a jump shot. Play this ball on the side. Sure does. He's got a he's got a small ball kicking it. Oh, oh that was shot. a great Luke. shot. Great shot. See if he gets fortunate. Look at this. See his nice stay down. He got the right. He didn't move. He he's made not, sure. He's not screwing around no more, folks. He's going to stay down on it. Mm -hmm. This is tough right here, though. If he uh, if he 
He shoots this three with a level stroke. It looks like his cue ball goes up towards that corner pocket. He may have to jack up a little bit. Yep. Which makes that shot infinitely tougher. In yeah, fact, he, this shot's pretty tough right here. Yeah, the angle goes off. You I would, gotta adjust to the angle. I wouldn't be surprised to see him bank this three ball cross corner right here because shape's natural for the four. Sure. It's tough straight in. Yeah, it is. Uh, he'll shoot it straight in, though, if he can hit it with a level Q. If he had to jack up, I think he'd take the bank. Looks like he's shooting it with a level Q, so that scratch must not be on. Good shot. Nicely played shot there. Let's see what he gets. Uh, you know, there, there really wasn't no way to play shape. Yep. Unless he would have hit it harder and come out three rails around the four under the seven. But he just really wanted to make the ball. There's not a good safe to play here neither. You might see him back this cross corner or cross side. He's got a chance to, to clip it and play his cue ball off the bottom rail under the five, but that's that's a tough shot. The bank's almost as, as easy as that. Not easy, but it's difficult. Let's see. Yeah. I really don't know what he was playing there if he was trying to bank it two rails yeah. and above. He must have been trying to go above the six and then have his four go below the nine A. Yeah, Chuck's out here. Yeah. You just you can't afford to play a weak safety on a bar box. No, he won't miss. I mean, I'm sure if he would have hit it, it would have been a strong safety, but it was a tough safety to play. Huh. This eight's hampering Chuck a little bit. He's going to be forced to draw his cue ball, and then he might not get he might not get good on the five. He might bounce out too far like this. Yep. It's all right. He'll fire in the bank. Banks. Oh, it's not There's even no there. Bank. Uh, yeah. the, banks, in the, way. the banks are closed at 2 a.m. in Fairfield, Ohio. Uh, he can reverse bank it, actually. He can, but his cue ball is going to go flying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still like that shot. It goes sometimes. He doesn't have a – I mean, he's got a weak safety. He can use the 9-8 yeah. the and bank the, the 5 to the bottom rail. But, like I said, good players hate to play a semi-weak safety on a bar box. Yeah. The bank wouldn't be so bad, but he's frozen on that rail too. You got to hit this shot firm. So it's tough to cue your cue ball accurately and hit that bank. I did your shot, Elvin. He did it. Good shot. Man. Nice. So yeah, <laughs> that ball barely, that ball barely got there. I love that shot. That right, reverse bank, it goes. He could have, he could have got unfortunate though. I mean, he could have, because he knew he was going yeah, straight in the eight nine, but he's he didn't. Gotta, right, uh, he's got a bank again. No, I don't think it banks. Yeah, it does. Man, you got hold it. That's a tough bank. You know, they're small pockets. The cuts really, it's, it's tough to go and shoot the cut because of the eight. You can't just let your cue, your cue ball's going to hit something. Yep. Looks like he's queuing up to cut it. He cut, wow. See, hit the eight, and wow. look at the nine. Look at the eight. He's losing it. See? That's what happens when you hit balls. Yep. He knew it, though. I mean, it's calculated risk. He might be able to see the seven, though. Cut it straight in. I'm 0 for 2 on calls, so I'm probably going to be 0 for 3. He's probably shoot it straight in. <laughs> Looks like he's got a shot on it. He may have to float it in to to throw it he, into the pocket. Just, yeah, that's what he's doing. That's what he did. He dogged it. No, he played the safe. Yeah. Good shot. Could have played it two-way, though, also. Yep. You know, if he's going to shoot at it, he knows he's going he's gonna to miss it thin. Yeah, shoot low. This is tough right here. Uh, yeah, oh. being on the rail like that, I don't see a, the real good bank possibility, but it's there. If you can hit it straight enough. No, he can't hit it straight enough. He's just going to switch positions. I think the, he can just barely clip it on the left side. And I can't see that uh, turning out good for him. Oh, he hit a little bit more than I thought. He was trying to use eight, yeah. That's Chuck will knock this sucker right in the hole. He's missed a couple easier shots this match so far. He's frozen on the rail. And it's not a gimme, but you, you got to think Chuck's going to make it. I mean, I think most players in this tournament are going to make this shot. Our score is now 5-4, to four, actually. 5-4, to four, Luke. 
believe so. Nice. Good shot. Man, these Valley Bar Boxes just accept ball so well, you know. Just go and go two reels out, play the nine corner, it's nearest. Okay, now it's six, Chuck has six. Six to four. Nope, I just watched Chuck move his bead. Oh, we want to thank our sponsors, thecutshot.com, hammerheadhustling.com, insidepoolmag.com, poolplayerexcuses.com, ultimate10ball.com. We'd like you to go there and check that out. And uh, make sure to watch out for us at Super Billiards Expo in two weeks doing the live stream. Man, that would be a great event to watch. Can't wait to watch some of the videos you guys come back with from it. Oh, you're not going? No, I've never been to, to Valley Forge. I'm a derby guy. Everybody oh, I talk man, to, they either go, go to the though. derby or, or they go to Valley. Got to go, go to both. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go to both. And this match flip-flops again. Now Chuck's in a, a pretty commanding position. He's got the advantage with the break. Yep. If Luke were to break and run out this game, Chuck still got the the break in the next round. It's like they're playing a an even race to an even race to four at that point with Chuck having the break. But Luke's looking pretty good this rack. Sure is. They're asking what the payouts are for this match. Slow uh, roll it did. I believe first is going to pay around 1200 I'm not sure. I know last week Shannon had 100 players in the tournament. There's only six more in this one, and he paid 1200 last week. I'm not sure how big the Calcutta was. Yeah, I don't know about that. Looks like Luke's going to get the Luke's really getting some love on every one of his breaks. Seems like he's always, uh, every one of his breaks, he's having a good opportunity to, to break and run out. Chuck has too, it just seems like Luke's gotten a few more better breaks. Yeah, they're not even done with the bank pool uh, finals yet, are they? No, uh, my buddy Brandon Williams is playing in fact, who is he playing? Is he playing DeMarco? Yep. He's playing yep. Louie. So there you go. It's yeah. Louie and... Uh, That's a hot seat rematch right there. Louie and Brandon playing. Spoiled Cincy girl says 900 was the Calcutta. That, uh, that was a great break. He got, wow, he got so unfortunate. Oh, no. First for the bank tournament is 900. Sorry. And Chuck just got... Chuck ought to call the police. He just got robbed. He hit that break nice. perfect and squatted his rock and got kicked in. It got kicked straight back one in the side. <laughs> if that happens to me, I, I'm not going to play a scratch off like for the next couple of weeks. Tuh. So that's when you know you're rolling bad. <laughs> when he lays down a break like that and that happens to him. <laughs> nice. And this looks like a, a pretty easy tap out. As soon as the flute gets on the four here, he's, he's getting out. I don't mind just uh, slow rolling this two ball in and getting dead straight in on the three. And that way you can just draw a straight back up table and have a, a, a good angle on this four ball. Looks taking his time and looking at it. 
he must have a little bit too much angle on the two. If he's got too much angle on the two, I think he might he might punch downward to the center rail and spin his cue ball two rails out to play the three in the corner. The nine's right over like this. Punched out one rail. Wow. Real good touch on that shot. He's pretty straight on this three. Sure is. Yeah. As long as he misses the side, though, he's got a good yep. chance. There he wow. Woo. Made it look like nothing, didn't he? Flirting with danger. Yeah, I did. I said slow roll. Slow roll. We're watching you out there in the chat. We see everybody. It's a little late to be uh, going crazy talking to all you guys, but, you know, we were going off earlier, man. We were having fun with that goofy guy. What's that guy? Where's he at? Uh, that goofy guy in a pool room. You better be a lot more specific. On the chat. What was his name? Lucky something. No, Here Newcastle. Comes Lucas again. They're out. Looks like, uh, looks like Luke's got a little bit of the advantage in this match now. Now they're just playing a even race to four with Luke breaking. This is a pretty exciting match so far. It's gone back and forth. Yep. Of course, alternate break. Wow. It's hard not to do that. But uh -huh. at the beginning, you know, having that having that that three zero lead as Chuck did. I mean, I. It's hard to get back in a match with a lead like that, alternate break on a bar box. No, I was talking about the 420 guy. I forget his name. Something or other 420. This guy was just being a goofball all day on the chat. You remember what his name was? That guy that was being Luke crazy on the comes chat. comes up with a good shot on the first ball. Well, I mean, he's jacked up. This is actually the most unfortunate he's been on the break. The two ball is not really tough making it. It's just getting shape on the three. Is Man, he's got a small window. It's like lucky break 420 or something. I don't even know if Luke can really want to play this two ball. Pool hustler, that's who it was. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Uh, I was saying if, if Luke goes to make this two ball, I don't think he can get his cue ball to where he can even see the three. If he makes the two, he's automatically going to be hooked on the three. Unless he, he manufactures something here. He might be able to follow forward two rails, but he's got a real small window in between that 5-7. Looks like he's jacking up like he might be drawing. Oh, I don't know about that shot. If he, I mean, he played it. He must have a window there. I don't know. I don't I think don't, he does. Think must so. be this table, though. I mean, he might be straight in like we were saying. Yeah. <laughs> Make us look stupid again. Pool junkie That's 420. Right. That's who it was. Looks like he's kicking at it. Man, he was Good saying shot. some crazy stuff, that guy. Great shot, Luke. Yeah. At least I think it was. I straight in on the three. It's that Easy. angle thing. Yeah, there's the four ball's not even there. Wow. He is. He'll fire it right in. I don't know. He might have... This cue ball might be a little suspect of going in that corner if he cuts that three in. He can't even hit it, that four ball so in the way. Oh, is it? Yeah, I was just making fun of how, oh, man, don't mess with me how that, that one stuff, ball bro. went in. <laughs> Chuck's, uh, Chuck looks like he's a little up against it right here. Luke laid down a good safe. I, you know what? It's possible that Luke was uh, playing shape to play that safety, too. You know, it could have been. Look at this. Oh. That was that was a real tough ball to hit. He was just hoping and praying for something there. Yeah. Well, he was trying to make that speed. He was definitely trying to make it. Now Luke's got a, a kind of a funny situation right here because the four ball is only accessible on the right side of the table, and he's got a got a weird angle on this three. And he's up on the rail too. It's going to be. It's going to make this shot real tough if he has to use any kind of low on his cue ball. He's going to have to jack up a lot. I think you might see him jack up, shoot the three, 
in the farther corner. Play his cue ball two rails, maybe three rails up table for the four ball. This is such a bad situation. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try and manufacture a safe. I mean, I, I don't see one, but I wouldn't be surprised if he really tried to play one. Yeah, well, he banks pretty good. I mean, if he did a bank on the three ball with a forward roll, he may be able to, I don't know, come forward and out around the five and get a shot on the yeah. four. But nah, that's kind of a high-risk shot. He's queuing up. He's just going to play it in the corner and yeah. he hope did the and pray. First shot. Great that's shot. a great shot, wow. yeah. Yeah, he hit that real good. I didn't see that he had such an easy angle on that ball. He really had to jack up the back of the end of his stick to make that shot, too. Yeah. There he is. He come up a little funny on this five, but he, he's fine. I think he's going to be able to draw his cue ball to that side rail. He might spin under the nine, or he might punch straight out. I think he'll probably punch straight out. He might follow forward here, too, actually. Oh, he's able to kill it, yeah. We keep, almost missed it from keep stepping it. up. Standing right up on his shot. There he did good. He was playing it to one part of the pocket too though, so he got gotcha. his cue ball there. Well, and he maybe intentionally did that. Yeah. Well, Luke's in a Luke's in a real good position here to, to win this match. Sure is. He's only got to go to nine, so. Right. Chuck might be on the end of the uh, whipping post here. Well, it is Chuck's break. I mean, if Chuck breaks and runs out, they're playing an even race to... to... Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yeah, Luke's got the game advantage. So, yeah. yeah, Chuck has to cover his spot again. This match is seesawed so much, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Chuck becomes a favorite at one point again during the match, even though there's only a few games left to be played. And he uh, he broke open, he broke the ball spread out real real nice, but did not make anything. I think we might see this match end on a four nine combination because the four ball doesn't go anywhere real easy. Yep, four nine snapper. He's gonna have to play this three ball in the same pocket he's playing the two in here. It's the cheese snapper. The four has uh, several pockets. It's just getting yeah. shape on it. You know why go for a high risk nine ball when you're well, get ready to go on the hill but it looks yeah. like it See, looks like he can go for actually the four mates past the a9 that can't happen i can't be wrong again it's witchcraft i think it does pass you're just not used to looking at this angle i think well i, mean, I, I get fooled a lot too yeah. i'll tell you i do it's also possible he come up short on his shape you know. it, yeah maybe so i think he can hit the very bottom of this pocket He's taken so long on this shot, though, I think he's playing the combo. Because okay. he really doesn't fool around. If, if the four ball was straight in, he, he would already got done, done and huh? shot it, yeah. Okay. My man don't mess around. Gotcha. These Dayton boys don't play nicely on this great Southern Billiards Tour. They're just snapping off one after the other. Good shot. Yep. You had a little window Threw there. Threw me wrong again. It's all right. It happens to the best of us and the worst of us, yeah. like me. If that four ball didn't go in clean, he could have played it off the eight, too, possibly. Well, this rack plays. Oh, my goodness. Wow. wow. Man, it. he probably had a real small window below the eight. I wasn't watching too closely. I look, I look like he was up on that shot a little bit quick. Dogtown. You know, I don't mind being real tired playing in tournaments like this because I feel like when I'm tired, I don't jump up as much because I'm so tired, I just I kind of stay down. Like, I almost want to fall asleep. <laughs> you know, you may play better then. Fall asleep on down on the ball. They both missed some shots I really thought they would or should have made. Of course, he probably had to slide that five under the eight. Chuck's got a good ch chance to make this a play shape just like wow. that. Wow. Well, that right. shape was automatic to make that ball. He has to play like this to get going here. Yeah. For Chuck to really get back into this match and become the favorite again, he's got to he's got to win this rack, and then uh, he's got to hope to 
to break Luke's serve next track. Yep. Looks like it's straight in on this. The seven. I'm about to say the eight. Doesn't look like it's going to go, but I've been wrong so many times. I'm, I'm sure it's probably dead. No. I don't think. I think it's catching the very end, but it may have a pocket. It may have. It very well may. Yeah. Need a, you know, yeah. hundred cameras to be able to tell every. The carom's every also playable. Looks like he's playing the carom. Beauty. Good shot. Seven seven. Chuck needs three. Luke needs two. It's turned into a heck of a match, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a real good match. Aside from our little technical it, it, difficulties there at the beginning. Seem like we're okay now. I have to attend to these uh, cameras for the finals. Get them tweaked up, centered perfectly. I had to set up here in this room with about 300 people in the room. It was very difficult setup. Oh, and it doesn't count on the Great Southern Billiards Tour, though. Nope, nine ball in the corner. I, we saw one go in the side today, though. Yeah. Actually, Chuck made it, I think. Bro, was you saying you had to set up with 300 people? Yeah, uh, they were doing the player auction up there. We were setting the lights and everything up. Oh, it was that's really rough. difficult. Yeah. They were all, all the there. Around you. Oh, man. This is this tournament's been just unreal. A million people. It's such a big tournament, yeah. good chunk of the uh, the Midwest kind of represented in this tournament. We've got players from all around. Every state that touches Ohio is represented in this tournament. And then some. Including Chuck. I think Chuck's probably the, uh, the, the one player in the whole field from the farthest away. I mean, I'm not positive, but he is from St. Louis, Missouri. That's, that's got to be like yep. a six-hour drive. Missouri. We got one guy who's probably the farthest away and one of the guys that's closest to way playing for the hot seat in a 106 person field. At least I think it was 106, I wouldn't quote me on that. Uh, 102 I think is what, uh, but 106 is what I heard, so yeah. uh, who knows. Those two balls looking a little funky. Yep. He's looking to see if it goes in between that gap between the nine and seven. Even if it does go, that getting to the three is no small feat. He might be looking to play a good safety right here. If he if he if he could see that two ball square, he's got a great safety. I don't see what he's gonna do with his cue ball to get back to the three off this two like this. Put a lot of draw on hope. Oh he went through it. Great shot. Nice. Wow, he played that. He played the the angle off the of seven, real good. Sure did. That's why this guy's going to ten. He's the only guy, right? Yeah. In the well, whole Richie, tournament. Richie, Richie Richardson. Yep. He beat Richie too. Yep. He put the smackdown on him, beginning real good. Like I said, I'm not real familiar with Chuck's game. I know he is a good player. I've heard his name a lot before. I thought Richie yep. was supposed to be a, a slight favorite, at least in that tournament. I thought he was going to win. Yeah. But, I mean, you really can't have a favorite in a, a race to 10 bar box pool with good players like this alternate break. It's just it's a coin flip, really. Once you play to a certain level, there's nothing a player that plays a little bit better than you can do that you really can't do. He's a little, a little over this nine. He's going to be fine. Nice and easy, does it every time. Frank Sinatra song. He's going to go one rail back right where his shoulder is above the side pocket. Nope, follows it three rails. Look at this. That's why I didn't like following it three rails. Yep, it deadens too much. Well, I mean, he just, he might have, he meant to get straight in on the nine, obviously. He just didn't his cue on to go far enough. Uh-oh. Oh, now Chuck's back in the driver's seat, man. <laughs> so they're playing a race to two with Chuck breaking. Man, it's just gone back and forth. First it was Chuck, then Luke, 
then Chuck, then Luke, and now it's back to Chuck. This is a good format to have a sweat bet going. You can get your, you get everything. <laughs> you get the most out of your money having a twenty dollars sweat bet. Oh yeah, all the highs and the lows. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, the hot seat match comes down to a race to two. How many more matches after that do we have to play? Um, Besides the finals. I'll have to look at the tournament brackets. Might only have to play uh, one match besides the finals. Man, that'd be great. We'd actually be getting out here early, not like there, The people left was uh, Richie, and Richie Richson and Frank Ruby. I think Mike Cantrell might have been left too, though. I don't remember seeing him play a match after his TV match. Oh. Uh, so Mike could still be in it. I don't see anybody else playing. I'd have to say whoever whoever loses this match is probably going to be up again real soon. Me. Give it to me. The loser of this match will play uh, Frank Ruby or Richie Richson, whichever, whichever one won their match or lost. Whichever one won it, yeah. Looks like the Chuck uh, Brogy got real unfortunate on this too. Chuck really does not want to have to push here. But it looks like he's going to have to. Whatever Chuck does, he's going to he's going to push for a, a kick or a jump, I believe. He's not going to let he's not going to let Luke see any piece of this ball. Yeah, but just Chuck's going to take his time here. It's a real important shot. What Chuck does here could can, uh, can decide the outcome of the match. like he's about just to push to the end rail. I think he's trying to leave a, a possible mass A shot. If I'm Luke, I got I gotta get up here and shoot at this. I think you're gonna see whoever shoots is going mass A around the six. Yep. That that two balls are in a real big ball position, being just slightly off the rail like that too. If Chuck wins this match, I, you know, I, I'd say he's going to win the tournament. Either Whoever wins this match will probably win the tournament. Oh. Beauty. I was going to say something about that. Is that Luke? Yep. Nice looking shot there. Yeah. yeah. He wanted his cue ball to, to go to the other side of the table. But that's not bad. If it went to the other side, he could have got, gotten hooked by the five. So I think he should just be happy he made the shot and you can see this ball. I think we're probably going to see Luke play the 3-7. Man, he's up against it, too. This is, a, this is where all the pressure comes down to, is having to make a shot like this. If Luke sinks this three, you got to figure he's going to win the match. Yep. Or he's, he's the heavy favorite to win it since he has the break in the next rack. Yep. Well, the hat's been turned around. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> Luke's just a fashion plate. <laughs> Uh, you're listening to uh, myself, Alvin, and uh, Chris Bossy here in the booth. I want to oh. thank him for joining us. Ugly. He went for the gusto. He shouldn't have turned his hat around so soon. No, he, uh, he's know? had his hat around. for. Uh, he, he had the lead in his hat around. You can't handle the whole that against him. All right. All right. If he loses his match, you could go up and tell him that, though. I'm halfway delirious, you know. Like, like I don't he, even know what time of day it is. What you it, could go up and just be like, Luke, man, 
You really screwed up, dude. You turn that hat around. It's just I, I want to say something, but I can't. Do it. <laughs> I get conscious. Hey, I'm I'm kind of I'm like one of them superstitious pool player guys, man. I, every little thing on the pool game matters. Everything. You know, I've never been. I'm not super superstitious one bit, but I'm gonna tell you one thing that works for me. If I'm playing nine ball and I got my break cue out, and I I leave my opponent to where I think he's gonna get out, I always put down my playing cue and hold my break cue in my hands. And I don't know what it is. They always dog it. Or if I'm about to lose a set, if I'm about to lose a set and they're dead out, I like to pull the money out early. Seems like when I'm about ready to pay them, they dog it. Oh, yeah. All right, Tara's oh, out. Chuck Later, got, Tara. I wasn't paying attention. Check out bad. Oh, man. Thanks for everything, Tara. You did a great That's, job for us this weekend. Looks like Chuck's, looks like Chuck's forced to play a 6-7 combo. Ugly. Oh, good Look advice. at this. He just threw the match away. If I if I'm Luke, I'm gonna be. I'd have a. I'd be grinning from ear to ear to have this opportunity. Neither one of these guys just keep flip flopping. That was unexpected by Chuck. I think he was trying to to, to get up table and play that ball on the side and, and let his cue ball get away from him a little bit. Wow. Straight Got a full in. pocket for that. Score is now eight to seven. About to be eight to eight. So let y'all know out there out there. With Luke Hawkins, our A player, being on the hill and breaking, always a good spot to be when you're on the hill. The score is correct. It's eight. To eight. I'm looking right at the beads, people. Appreciate it. Thanks. I'll call you back. I'm actually in the room looking at the beads. That's an optical illusion, Elvin. Yeah, that's right. It might as well be over this table. All right, here we go for the match. The match for Luke, at least. Bada bing. I put my hat back on forward if I was uh, Luke here. Shloop, shloop. Oh, what yeah. in uh, the world is? Oh, he just hit it too hard. Breaks, breaks on the one ball. Wow. He, well, he's fortunate now. That could be the end of this match. Now Chuck's got to push out. I'm telling you what. Well, I like. I mean, right here, I like being Luke. I don't want to have to push out, especially not on a bar box. Of course, Chuck's real happy just to be at the table, I'm sure. Well, Chuck can see it, I'm sure. Cuts straight up the corner. Beauty. Good shot. Well, look wow. at this. He's going to get perfect shape. Watch. No. Oh, yep. This guy's got the rolls tonight. He's got the jelly roll, my friend. Yeah, I mean, he played to get low. I mean, he played to, to bump in that two ball. And he did get fortunate. I mean, five ball, I mean, five ball is not easy at all. In fact, where the four is, it makes it real tough to get on the five. I think you're probably going to see Chuck come back across table to where the cue ball is after he shoots the two, play the three in the corner, four in the side, and try and break out the five, nine with the four. Clicker. Four. Good shot. Just take care of it right I was, now. I didn't think, yeah. I did. I just didn't think he was going to do it right there just because it, it right. could, he could have gotten a real bad roll and hit the top side. And I had a shot on the three. Or you know. Um, just shows you how good uh, yeah. Chuck plays his cue ball. I bet he plays a lot of bar box eight ball. Or has. Oh, he just has a real good cue ball. And, uh, yeah. He, he knew exactly how that cue ball was going to react off that rail. Yep. Because you always go at the clusters immediately. Yeah. In bar box eight. You immediately start attacking their clusters. But yeah, yeah, especially so. playing eight ball. But nine ball, you got to pick your spots. Yeah, you do. You got to go after it when the rack tells you you're supposed to go after it. Yep. Very true. Yeah, I like what you said about that eight ball. That's that's a big thing. People people that don't play eight ball well, just because they 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 run all their, their loose balls. You gotta go after that that 
bad shot immediately. Oh, yeah, wherever and, the problem ball is. And if you don't break it out after the first few shots. You're in trouble. You should just stop trying to run out. Just yeah. Try and play some sort of safe. Well, I actually, you know, I would judge a player by how strong he's playing, and I'll just miss the first shot on purpose. Let him clean a couple balls off the table for me. Folks, I don't suggest that strategy. <laughs> well, it depends on who you're playing. But uh, Oh, yeah, if, if you know the guy. The guy's not going to get out yeah. no you matter you what. Bar box eight ball, I've, I've seen funnier things. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm tired. Yeah. But, hey, thanks for uh, commentating with me, man. Oh, it's, it's been a pleasure, man. It's Thank lonely you. back here. JR's taking a little break, so he did the whole last match himself while I was sleeping. I'd like to take this time to thank Inside Pool for coming down here and streaming these videos and bringing them to everybody out there. No problem, brother. We come down here to see you and everybody else and enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, if people want to support Inside Pool, go to InsidePoolMag.com. Sign up for the online magazine. Ten bucks a year. All our videos are in the magazine. You'll see... Uh, we didn't even get you on the stream this time, did we? I <laughs> didn't have a chance to, man. I was wanting you on there, too, because yeah. uh, uh, we did a really good one last time. It was, turned out real good. Did you see the match that we did? I, I watched a little bit. I don't like yeah. to watch myself on camera. No? Oh, my God, for the match. Snap. Wow. Cheddar cheese in the side. Wow. Oh, Cheddar Chuck, Chuck Ralston wins the, heads, the, the, the hot seat. Cheddar Chuck. Chuck man, Cheddar. That just, man, that set just went back and Unbelievable back and win there. That was awesome. Yeah. Powerful. I All think, right, Chris. Yeah. But uh, what were you gonna say? Oh, I was just saying they both made they both made some some uncharacteristic mistakes that set, but Chuck come out with it. That's wow, unreal. Right in the side. Well, hey, man, I appreciate you uh, helping me. If you want to come back, feel free. Uh, yeah, I think the they'll, they'll probably take a break here. Cool, cool. Yeah. But yeah, please. Come back and help me. And uh, everybody else, thanks for tuning in, listening to Chris and myself. I'm Alvin with Inside Pool. And for more videos, games, and downloads, go to InsidePoolMag.com. Be right back.